Hello everybody and welcome to It Invaded episode 5, I think we're on 5, yeah, anime review. Uh, yeah, this, I like, I, again, more of the same, I like the mystery being solved. This time, not so much on Sakaido's end, he didn't do, I mean, he, he did his job, but I mean, it wasn't, it took about 3 minutes of the episode, which is not a lot. Instead, we focused more on Hondo Machi, I wrote her name down because it was quite important for this week's episode. She's actually pretty clever too. Maybe she could be a ge Maybe the thing is going to be she's a genius detective in the real world instead of in the, the virtual space, the id well. Maybe that's what they're doing. But yeah, no, this was good. The twist, uh, I didn't see it coming until... Well, I mean, no, when she was talking to her, saw it coming. Because I was, look at you. There's nothing good about you. Anyway, let's dive into the episode, see what went down and everything. Let's do this. We open up where we la left off last week's episode, that is with Honda Machi getting kissued by that guy. That guy's name, who I did write down, is Kazuta. Uh, he was one of the victims of the, not the grave digger, the other one, the drill man. Uh, yeah, good stuff. So after that, he runs away and whatever, and she's like, that was kind of weird. What was that about? Which, you know, is a fair question to ask, I think. Uh, then she goes to tell the detective guy, her, like, partner, I guess, like, I found the dude. Uh, he, he, he was over there, you know, she gets a little bit embarrassed, uh, she says she's 23 and I'm just like, no you're not, you're 12, don't lie to me. Uh, and then afterwards we get the drill guy, very briefly, being a bit cryptic, he's like something about wind blowing through the hole, and if it doesn't, that's bad, so his hole is different from his hole, I guess, I think that's what he was saying, he was being very cryptic, essentially. Honda Machi puzzles together pieces together she's like she's like he's the grave digger and you know she's stretching but she was right so i guess she was right to stretch i guess that makes some sense uh turns out he was also surprised by the kisu because he was doing the wrong thing she thinks the drill go into this the drill messed up his brain so that he gets killing and kissing confused because they're close in letters i guess so he was trying to kill her which is not good. They go back to the point where she got kissed, and uh, well, you know, they found some particles because he was going to kill her. So, you know, using those particles, they drop Sakaido in, he does a little skydiving bit, lands on this island, finds Kairu, and uh, he's like, oh, I've got it, I figured it out. And it's like, the dude in the, the funny guy in the, the office is like, that was way too quick. How are we gonna get 23 episodes, 23 minutes out of this episode? By not relying on Sakaido, that's how. So Sakaido quick runs down through everything that's happened. She's been stabbed. There's something underneath the blood. The blood that doesn't even seem to really be flat against the, the earth. It's like floating. Like you you would be able to tell. Uh, underneath it there is an amalgamation of all the victims. I think is what they, they deduced it was. It kept facials kept switching and everything. It's just all the victims meshed into one basically again. Like in a previous episode. After this, they're like, all right, figure it out. He's definitely it. Let's uh, let's go. Here's the address and everything. Then the, the girl under the thing is talking about a monster. There's a monster around somewhere, which is, you know, not good. There's a photo of Kazuta and his, like, friends, I guess, when they were kids. Also that they, you know, they can use now to visit the people. Deduce, he kills for love, whatever that means. So, like, he, because he, there's no particles, kill particles, because he's doing it for love instead of, like, uh, hatred, I guess, is sort of what they were saying, which is kind of weird. They're going in anyway, the soldiers. Soldiers, they're the police force. The police force are going in. Sakaido does some parkour, and then we see John Walker, who kills the id version of Kazuta, so that's not good. Uh, and then John Walker and Sakaido have a little bit of a fight, and he runs away. Sakaido gets really angry when he sees him, so I guess that's a thing built into the, the great detective, is if you see John Walker, have at him. Would like to know a little bit more about John Walker. He was kind of mentioned once and now he's showed up again We don't know much about him other than he seems to have created serial killers like I assume he's the big bad We're gonna deal with at the very end but Come on. We need we need some more info. That's a pretty necessary thing So the squad that moved into the uh, the brewery soy sauce brewery They uh, they've gone into there to find they found some barrels which they think the people might have been in you know when the video was uh, being streamed Honda Maggi visits a person in the photo, they just found one. Honda Machi, so is she onto this person from the very beginning? Because she might be. That's honestly what I was thinking. Because she was like, can I pick the person we go to? To me, that implies I know who it is. Let's go here. We'll get to that though. 
meanwhile, the others, the, the again, brewery squad we'll call them, they can't get into the barrels, but then the barrels explode because they snip some wires. Gasoline, there probably is a trap, they're going to die and everything, not great. They are, they're in trouble, to put it bluntly. Matey Boy goes to take the call, so Honda Machi is left alone with the woman, whose name I didn't write down. And just this whole conversation, I haven't made many notes about it, but I wrote she's definitely a bad guy. Like, look at her. Look at her, just her face. She's got a bad face. Is that mean? I feel like that's a bit mean, but no. Honda Machi also is very clever, and she's sort of like baiting. Like, she's not even being discreet about it, though. Like, it's like... I know you're the bad guy, you know I know you're the bad guy, and I know you know I know you're the bad guy. So it's like, that's kind of what it felt like to me anyway. Uh, Honda Machi basically deduced, hey, you actually did like Matey Boy, what's his name? It's at the beginning, Kazuta. You did like him, so, you know, she's saying like, oh, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You know, she's being all not very committal. She's straight up lying as well at some point. Uh, so she she keeps calling Honda Machi cute as well, which is... it's like repeatedly like three times in a row she's just like Honda Machi like ends the conversation and then she's like but you are cute though and it's like all right lady calm it calm it down a little bit yeah uh she loves Kazuta Honda Machi is onto her she's the actual grave digger old Kazuta is killing because of her because she's an insane sadist who likes seeing people die in that which is you know not good uh and then Kazuta, Kazuta did it for her, whether that is to doing it trying to impress her or just doing it because she told him to, that's up for debate. He's in the closet with a knife, by the way. All right, like in the hallway. He's nearby with a knife, so I'm assuming he's gonna try and fight and there'll be blood, probably. A lot of good stuff. post credit scene, back to Sakaido. He says sorry about your boyfriend to the amalgamation. She's like, no, he wasn't my boyfriend. Uh, he's gotta tell me he loves me first. And it's like, oh, feels bad. I don't know why that was a post credit scene. Uh, it was, I didn't really add much. I didn't really get what they were implying. Maybe I'm just as stupid. But uh, yeah, that was the end of the episode. I, th I don't know what the general consensus on this show is because it is confusing and it is withholding a lot of information and it is very jargony. But I find it really interesting. I, I'm really interested in where the story's going. The characters are getting all right. Um, like you got the old uh, Sakaido. Uh, what's his name? Narisago, his old thing. The drill guy is just a cryptic old man, basically. Uh, yeah, and then on the match, she's pretty cool too. She's pretty clever and devious. That's exactly what I put it. Uh, can't think of too much else to say though. Hopefully, things don't go too bad next week and a lot of people don't die. That would be bad. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing and liking, commenting, and all those other good things that YouTube likes it when you do. Check out the main channel as well. There is content over there. I will see you next week for another episode of this. And bye guys.